So where's, I know where's she the bride? Um, where's the bride? She's not here yet. Oh, she's, oh, she's not here yet. Yeah, she'll, she'll be here shortly. Yeah, okay. she'll be coming. I'm wondering, I'm like, where's she at? <laughs> All right, guys. So I made it. So I, I I I stay on the east side, on the east side of Florida, right? And this wedding is on the west side, which is Tampa, right? Like you know, Tampa, Fort Myers. Well, it's on the west side. So the client, this client, hit me up a week ago about this wedding. So this is a last-minute wedding, and. Um, as an entrepreneur you know you take whatever comes your way if it's reasonable you know if they're paying you your asking price you take it if you don't have anything that day you take it so I had no weddings today which is the 29th of December I had no weddings today and this client hit me up last week you know and I was like oh yeah I'll do it you know I'm available so he put the deposit he put the deposit in that same day and then he was like, okay, so tomorrow I'm going to tell you, I'm going to send you the timeline. So if you are a wedding videographer, which I'm assuming you guys are, you know how important the timeline and getting it early. The earlier you get the timeline, the better. So you know how important getting the timeline is. So he hit me up a week ago and he paid the deposit and everything. I was like, all right, so this dude is serious and, you know, it's going down, you know. So, yeah. And you need to check out my video on why you need a videographic contract and um, all this stuff. I'm going to link it up there. So, yeah, so this is what happened. So, you know, so he signed the deposit, put in the, the uh, uh, put in the deposit, signed the contract. So today is the day that it's going down, right? So, like I said, I, leave, I, I, I stay on the east side of Florida you know and this wedding is on the west side because I advertise for the west side of Florida because I want to get as many weddings as I can right now because I'm, I'm, do, I'm doing I do this you know this is this is the only thing I do right now do weddings so I'm over here because it's a three hour drive to go across Florida right so I yesterday um, so this happened like last week Monday well this Monday he was supposed to send me the schedule the timeline he didn't send that to me tuesday he didn't send it to me wednesday thursday christmas day passes you know yesterday so yesterday he calls me and tells me oh francis i'm gonna give you the timeline and you know my bad blah 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 you know and uh you already know i'm serious i pay the deposit blah 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 so i'll get the the, the timeline to you tonight which is yesterday night and the wedding is today so everything is last minute so i'm like all right so that was 5 p.m i talked to him on the phone 9 p.m still nothing no timeline no um schedule no he didn't he, he didn't tell me what time they want me at the wedding right so i'm like dude i need to know what time you want me to start you know so it's, it's a seven hour wedding so i need to know what time you want me to start so you know i can get everything prepped up so charged all my drones, charged all my, you know, my batteries, got everything ready, got everything ready. And still, I don't have the timeline and stuff. So 9 p.m., 9 p.m., 9 p.m. comes and I, you know, text him and I'm like, dude, uh, what's going on? You know, the wedding is tomorrow. He doesn't reply. So it was 9 p.m., 12, around 11 p.m. yesterday night, I call him. He didn't pick up the phone. I text him, no pick up the phone. And then six in the morning today, day of the wedding, I text him, I'm like, dude, what's going on? Is the wedding still on? And I call him six in the morning, you know, cause my wife is pressuring me. She's like, oh, you need to know so you can know what time you're leaving, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, all right, don't worry, I got this. You know, I'm a, pa I'm a patient person. That's a good thing about me, you know? I don't know if it's a good thing, but I'm patient. So I like to give people um i like to give i like to to give people a reason but doubt i'm like okay you know what let me be patient i already hit him up last night so you know it's his, it's his wedding 
So everything is good. I, he's gonna hit me up. There's probably something going on, whatever. So no, you need to tell him blah blah. So six in the morning, six in the morning, I hit him up and um, he didn't hit me back. Texted him, called him, nothing. So I need to. I have to. If I gotta be in Tampa at like let's say one p.m., I, I have to leave. I have to. I have to live. I have to live. I have to leave from my side of town to here across Florida because I got to take the 60 for you guys in Florida I have to you know go across Florida and it's gonna be like three hours right so if I if I if I live if 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 I leave at um like nine I'll be here at one so I had to I had to know before nine so I started getting ready I started getting ready and stuff so I just got in the car and around nine called him nothing texted him nothing so i don't know what time they want me to be here and today's the day of the wedding so i just got got in the car put gas in there i, I didn't put full tank i just put a little bit of gas you know i just, I just put like 20 bucks and not if i lose 20 bucks it's okay because they already pay me the deposit so it's coming from there so i put 20 bucks in the truck i get in there it's like truck anyway i put 20 gas in the car and i hit the turnpike so i'm on the turnpike on uh, Florida Tempike and then um, he calls me right he calls me up he's like oh Francis my bad you know um, this and that I had no service out here by the water this and that and the wedding is still going on and uh, uh, in a minute here I'll send you all the information all the itinerary everything you need the timeline the schedule so I'm like so what time do you need me to be there he's like I don't, I don't know yet I think 2 30 so I'm like all right and I'm, I didn't tell him I was on my way because, you know. So anyway, so he texts me and he tells me, like, the timeline. So he tells me that, okay, now they need me at 4.30. So now I'm here, like, one, uh, I got to Tampa around 1 and change, right? And the wedding is at 4.30. Well, I'm starting at 4.30. So I have, like, about three hours just to myself to like for nothing you know what I'm saying anyways I'm not mad at least I'm, I'm in town you know and I'm gonna get grab something to eat I already got me a Starbucks here so I'm gonna grab me something to eat and I'll just make a couple of videos for you guys like this video which like just like you know just um, updating you guys on my 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 life and what I'm doing so and how to do and how some weddings go because sometimes you never expect things like this to happen you know that's why it's always good to like the, a, a contract is always good you always need to have the customer the client pay you before the wedding so that way if they don't like let's say if the cancel the wedding at least they already gave you your deposit you know for wasting your time and all this stuff you know so and the money let's say you're gonna use to like travel around that day and also just the same like the you maybe somebody else would have taken the day and went through with it so that's why it's always good to um, to just get prepared for a lot of things because like I'm saying the more things you go through with well, as a wedding videographer the more you learn you know so the more things you go through the more you learn so just like I'm just like I told you um how I make my contract is I keep adding to my contract depending on how uh, depending on the things that I go through so if I go in a situation if I go through a situation where a client does this and this to me and I don't like it I put it in my contract so that way that can't happen to me again you know so that way there's a penalty if that happens you know so this today this is just about the client being um, what can I say being a last minute person this whole thing is just so last minute to whereby you get the schedule to me on the day of the wedding like you are undecided to even like you know let me know what time you want me to come because you already know like the time frame in our contract is seven hours so i told him just let me know when you want me you want me to get there and anyway so it's just been a whole last minute wedding thing and i'm not bashing the client i'm not you know I'm happy to work with anybody I'm just saying like you have to be prepared as a wedding videographer as an entrepreneur as an entrepreneur you gotta be prepared for like you know like 
situations like any situation you know nothing ever goes as planned so right now just seeing how the day is already going they get the timeline to me late I'm gonna tell you later on because I'm gonna vlog you know as we go I'm gonna tell you later on that this wedding is not gonna be on time this wedding is always it's gonna be off because if you can't even do the little things before a day what makes you think you're gonna do the bigger things you're gonna get the bigger things right so I'm telling you this wedding is gonna be everything's gonna be pushed back you know what I'm saying so let's see how the day goes let's see and I'll tell you later on if I code it yes or no if I if I was right but let's see how it goes but I feel like everything is gonna be pushed back because if you are undecided about little things what about the bigger things you know so um that's just the video I'm trying to get to you guys like you know